All right, so today we're going to be breaking down Jose Fernandez mechanics and why I took inspiration from him based on his delivery and visualizing it into my own. So here we go. First off, he's 6'3", 240 pounds at the time of this video, and he was up to 101 this year based on pitch FX data. So here we go into coil. This is something I drew inspiration from him. I felt that just watching how fluid and effortless he looked when he would throw, that this is something I should try to incorporate into my own delivery, and it's something that I still continue to do to this day. So out of leg lift, he's super controlled. Upper half's very nice and calm, and that lower half is just going to start unwinding exactly how you would want because he's nice and fluid and loose. So here we go. He's getting into that drift. And then a few frames forward, he starts sitting into that back leg because, like we discussed prior, um, sitting into that back leg is the only way that you would not fall over if you start going into that drift. A nice, calm handbrake. No, nothing to do with aggression here. Just very controlled. Just waiting to, for that moment to turn on the jets. And right here, obviously, is just sort of positioning. He's floating through space letting everything get in the positions that he needs to. Right here, he sits into that back leg even a little bit more, and he's, he had somewhat of a jumpy delivery. So on that back side, he would rotate, but it would almost be like a jump into rotate, sort of similar to Shane McClanahan. And this is really elite right here, the positioning of that glove and arm relationship. Um, just very good for strike throwing. And exactly what you would want of an all-star caliber, borderline Hall of Fame caliber pitcher. So here he goes. He's starting to rotate. That arm's coming down as the as the throwing arm's coming up. This is pretty elite position right here as his front leg's braced. Um, something that concerned me a little bit when I watched his delivery is right here. He's almost got like a little bit of arm drag. And I feel like it was because... He didn't catch that scap load in the deepest point of his separation, meaning like he had to get into this position and drag it to allow the arm to catch back up with his rest of his body. And from there, um, he gets into that good layback, but that move right here is something where I feel he was probably creating more stress than he needed to and possibly why he ended up getting Tommy John in 2014. But from there, obviously one of the most elite pitchers during his time in the league, has a great finish here, and just so effortless as a pitcher in general. Rest in peace. He was someone that I took a lot of inspiration from with my pitching delivery, and I wish I could still watch him throw to this day. Let's run it back with a little just full speed motion of his delivery here. Just so fluid. Look at that. 